pediatrician did a little test where she's looking to see if Emily responds to the sound of her mother's voice, and there was no response. I didn't know how we were gonna communicate. I didn't know anybody that was deaf. There's nobody in my family that's deaf. My first reaction was like, help. You don't even know what to do with that information when you first get it. My first impression was that his life was gonna be so difficult and there was just nothing I could do about it. I remember my mother looked at me with tears in her eyes and said, what will her life be like? If you're the parent of a child who's been diagnosed as deaf or hard of hearing, Clark can really help any family along that journey. Can you tell me why do you wear hearing aids? So I can hear my mom and dad and my brothers. Yeah. Clark saved the day for our family. I mean, I think there's no other uh, way to say it. It was so amazing to me to hear the kids speaking. Elephant. An elephant, you're right. You would never know that they had any problem with hearing. Autumn leaves. Clark does not focus on sign language. We really have, since our inception almost 150 years ago, focused on listening and spoken language. It is absolutely a new day for children who are deaf or hard of hearing. The technological advances over the last 15 years have really been beyond, I think, what anyone would have dreamed of in the past. This is my cooker and bread. This is how I put it on. And now I can hear everything you say. The beginning of the story is to place the technology that gives a child access to sound. But then to be able to use that sound, I think, is a much more important part of the story. There's a misunderstanding that when children get a device, what, whether it's a hearing aid or a cochlear implant or a Baja, that now they can just hear. That it's like putting glasses on and you went from whatever your vision was to, to 2020. But the reality is it's not that simple. The technology doesn't do anything on its own. It's what you do with the technology. And so it's the, it's the therapy, it's the time, it's the effort. Good work. A place like Clark truly understands how to make that happen, how to use technology to really truly flourish. Be nice to spiders. That's right. Clark's goal is really to prepare these children to succeed out in the mainstream. We start with children as young as a few weeks. Hello, Reese. Hello, Reese. Your focus is not so much on the child, but it's on the family and really helping the family develop the tools that they need to maximize the chances for success. This year? Yeah. Yes, that's you. We are extremely proud of our preschool programming. Jump. And the monkey's jumping on the bed. It's obviously a very listening and language focused program with a lot of literacy focus as well. On the ground. We now have the largest teleservices program in the United States for children birth to three. Do you hear that? That's beautiful, and he's listening. Hi, Juliet. So we have the largest mainstream services program in the country. This is a paper that I'm writing for the language arts, and it's about cochlear implants. An itinerant teacher of the deaf from Clark comes to Juliet's mainstream school, and she works directly one-on-one -on -one with Juliet to give her the extra support she needs to be successful. When immersed at Clark, it's really amazing what we see in such a short amount of time. We watch children go from no ability to respond to their name, no awareness of sound around them, to actively engaging with their environment, with their friends. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pumpkin. What pumpkin? Say pumpkin who? Pumpkin who? I'm a scary pumpkin. Ah! At Clark, Juliet just blossomed. She went from someone who couldn't hear anything to someone who, you know, wouldn't stop talking. I like to do a lot of accents. Even if you're little, you can do a lot. You mustn't let a little thing like little stop you. What Clark boils down to is opportunity. I think any parent who has a child wants that child to have the same opportunities in life as anybody else. And I think that is really what Clark is focused on. We make that happen. Clark has definitely taught me if I set my heart on something, I can definitely achieve it. 
My daughter came with no vocabulary, no way of clear communication. She was three at the time, and I will say by the time she was not even three and a half, she was a completely different person. I would love to study birds when I grow up. My favorite birds are peregrine falcons, bald eagles, eastern kingbird, downy woodpecker. Clark changed our lives, not just his, our lives. My relationship with my son was much, much better because of Clark. My favorite subject is math. I play soccer at my school and touch football league, and I'm the quarterback for that. He's a typical 13-year-old boy. I, I do think Clark was the, the beginning of all of that. I always come in last place for Mario Kart. How I'll can I learn? You. You're gonna teach me? Because I'm like the master of video games, so I can just teach you. Austin is at the top of his class in public school. He has friends in town. He participates in sports. Austin's possibilities now, I think, are endless. The sky's the limit. Emily is a junior now at a small liberal arts college in Maryland. She's bringing home her GPA of 3.9 plus without any special services. I'm here in England for my semester abroad. I can't wait to tell you all about it. It is so exciting. I wish now that my mother could see what her life is like because it's, I think it's well beyond any of us imagined it could be.